Okay, continuing on the inside and some of our unique features as well as changes for this year. Uh, one of the biggest things that we've made a change for inside, uh, it's one of the things I'm most excited about, is going to be the fact that we've now switched to LED lights uh, standard on the inside on all models. So the big benefit of that is going to be, obviously, you've got less power draw, so if people are actually out dry camping, they can run these for longer. Uh, but especially in the south down here, you know, Texas, Louisiana, Mississippi, uh, it's the heat factor. You know, these are going to put out a lot more light, a lot brighter, without putting out all that heat that the incandescent lights do. So it is a big benefit to have these. It is a big upgrade. Um, so I make sure that I really point that out to our customers, that that is something that they get now. Another thing that we've got in uh, our slide rooms that I like to talk about is, first of all, we do do a little bit different color wallboard right here. And that's just the benefit of breaking it up so it looks and feels a little better, more like a separate room inside here. We do have the extra deep overhead storage right here. So if they want to fit pots, pans, anything like that, or uh, dishes, they can put them up here. Um, that just makes it a little bit more functional. Another thing that sets us apart from our competitors, uh, and it not necessarily makes our it easier to camp in a wildwood, but as far as the feel and how it looks, we do curtain rods and curtains, so they're actually decorative in here. Uh, and this is a, a question that you may want to pose. You know, like a lot of our competitors do what's called uh, lambrequin legs, and it's just basically pieces of plywood wrapped with uh, fabric and stapled to the sidewall. And one thing that I like to ask customers is, you know, what do you have at home? Do you have curtains and curtain rods in your living room? Or did you take pieces of plywood and wrap it in fabric and staple it to your walls? Well, odds are you probably have curtains and curtain rods. So why, why is it okay in residential to do that, but in RVs then our competitors decide that they wanna use something that nobody uses residential. It just doesn't look right, it doesn't feel right. Um, and that's something that we believe in a lot is how something feels when you walk inside it. So I always point that out. The women really do appreciate that touch um, something else that we offer is nightshades are standard instead of any mini blinds here. So we do offer the nightshades that is standard throughout the whole living area here. Uh, and then another area too is the way that our furniture looks and feels. Uh, we do take a lot of effort and put it into our furniture and little things that we do like the, uh, the white stitching on here, the little tufts where we pull it in. It makes it just look a lot more residential and a lot more dressed up than a lot of our competitors use. Um, we put these little, uh, you know, the little armrests inside here. A lot of our competitors just put it there without. You know, it's just cutting those little corners that make a difference uh, as far as the wildwood compared to our competitors. Pillows, you know, the pillows come standard with it. This is a jackknife sofa, so it does just lay flat. But one of the benefits of this is you've got this large storage drawer underneath here. So I talk about this as far as, you know, pillows, blankets, things like that, that if you're going to break this down and have someone sleep in it, or if you're going to break the dinette down, you can have someone sleep there. This is where you can keep that bedding. Uh, it's just a nice way to have extra storage that we utilize there. Coming over here, uh, one area that I also talk about is we did upgrade our wood tabletops here. So we were doing the, the actual wood tabletop um, in your dinette area, but we did have some issues that we ran into where there was some splitting and some warranty problems with them that we've addressed. And we went and we, we switched to, it's actually a molded piece here that is a wood look. Uh, one of the things that I talk about here is much like our curtain rods and curtains is, you know, I'll ask customers, you know, because most of our competitors will take scrap pieces of countertop, put them on legs and put it right here. Well, Mr. and Mrs. Customer, in your house, did you take scraps from your countertop in your kitchen and make a dining room table out of it, or do you have a wood dining room table? You probably have a wood dining room table. So again, why is it okay to cut those corners in an RV that you're home away from home? It's not. So we try and make it feel, again, as residential as possible with a wood look countertop here. So it is more of like a true dinette. This does break down. You can lift that up, set that down, and tuck the cushions inside here, and that is going to be uh, another place where kids or, you know, a small grandma could sleep if she wants to come with you. Um, another thing that I talk about here, it's a big deal, is our pot and pan storage drawer. And this pot and pan storage drawer is, is huge because a lot of our competitors, they do have storage underneath their dinettes, but they don't give you access to it. With ours, you lift up and then out. And it's a giant pot and pan storage drawer. It's all plywood based and there's no drawer glides. Customers may ask, why is there no drawer glides? Well, when you put 25 pounds of pots and pans in here and you go down the road, the first bump you hit, those drawer guys are gonna snap right off. This just makes it a little bit more heavy duty. So the benefit of having this right here is, say it's Saturday morning and uh, you've got your five, seven, and three-year-old sitting right here ready for breakfast. 
you're over here cooking your breakfast and you realize, oh crap, I need another pan for the bacon. Well, now you're gonna go into negotiation mode where you're gonna try and convince your kids that they need to get up off the dinette so that you can get down inside there, shuffle around, because you have to access it through the top to try and find the potter pan that you need. Meanwhile, after that negotiation goes sour, like it probably would with a three-year-old, you've already burned the eggs and you've got to restart. So in a wildwood, life is easier. You're cooking, you realize, oh, I need that other pan. Come right over, slide it out, grab it. Kids are still sitting there whining, wondering where their breakfast is. Not the end of the world. So it's just making life a little bit easier for our customers. Another thing that I talk about that is not unique whatsoever to wildwood, uh, the majority of your brands on your lot probably have this, but nobody ever points it out. And that's something as simple as the vinyl backing on your cushions. So I know my wife, and I know that if we were to have the kids come in here and they've been out swimming and they're coming in for lunch and they're going to have hot dogs, the number one thing she's going to be worried about is the ketchup getting on there. So the ketchup falls on her cushion, and it doesn't matter how good we get it clean, every time she comes in this door and we go camping, she's going to see even though I have no idea where it is, she's gonna see that that's where the ketchup is, right there. So, something very, very simple. We have marine grade vinyl on the back. You can take your bottom cushion, your back cushion, you turn them around, put them back in here. Kids come in, eat wet bathing suits, spill ketchup all over it, you grab a wet washcloth, all you do, wipe it down, flip it back around, and you put it back. All of your fabrics stay clean, you don't have to worry about them getting stained, you don't have to worry about water getting soaked into the, to the foam inside there and stinking. It's something that uh, very few people talk about, but it really does create a real value for our customers. Um, again, the majority of your products on your lot will probably have it. Go double check, but I would definitely be pitching that. Uh, this is going to be your only uh, incandescent bulb in here, and this is 110. Everything else is going to be uh, your LED lights and function as far as off of your batteries. Coming over into this area here, bathroom you do have foot flush toilet is standard in there you've got your full shower everybody's seen those uh, bunk beds all of our bunk beds are 300 pounds rated so you can put 300 pounds on there one thing that's nice about the 28 d bud floor plan is that you've got this access right here you can lift this up and you've got tons of storage you can access it from the outside um, anything you want to put inside there it's just that added storage and again that same story of if you can't fit it through the pass-through storage right up there, well, I can bring coolers and chairs and stuff that may not fit out there and slide it in through in here. Also, an added benefit of this is going to be you're getting ready to roll for the weekend, so you back it into the driveway, and now you or your wife can be in here loading things in while the other person's making rounds coming back in and out from the house and just sliding it right in here. It's just making things easier for you. It is on strut, so it does stay up, so it's not going to be banging you in the head when you're uh, trying to reach down inside there. Coming into our kitchen area, this is, uh, again, part of our showstopper package. And what you have with this is going to be the stainless steel appliance package, which this is, it's just an upgraded feature. It's more residential. It's very popular in residential right now. And the majority of our competitors aren't offering it. Uh, it is a much higher cost to us, yet we're still able to offer it in this price point. Uh, one of the biggest changes that we've got for this year is going to be LG true solid surface countertops. So these are real residential style solid surface countertops. Nobody else in this price point offers it. Uh, as far as for a stick and tin product, this is really awesome to have. Uh, we've just started getting them out there and the customer, the reception on it has been pretty phenomenal. So this is one thing that I really try and push hard. We're also offering an undermount sink now as well. Uh, again, it's just a little higher level of residential feel. And then right here on any of our, what we call our L-shaped countertops, where they kick out to like an L, you're gonna have, there's a little snap right here. Always make sure you undo the snap. And then you slide this out and you've got half barrel storage right here. Uh, you know, you can put whatever you might want to in here, but everybody seems to think this is where the wine bottles will go to keep it away from the kids. And it's just that added little touch of little, every little piece of storage that we can possibly add, we do. Another little thing that I talk about is in our L-shaped kitchens is underneath our sink right here. So what I also talk about is the trash can storage. This is something just like the shoe and boot storage or the laundry chute. One of those things that customers don't think about until they're actually out camping and they've got six people's worth of trash. Where are you going to put your trash can? Is it going to go right at the end? Is it going to go by the door? Is it going to sit over here where the kids are going to smell it when they're in bed? We always try and find a place to put your trash can. 
some of those little things that most of our competitors completely overlook and it, it just loses some of that value. So I try and talk about all these different things. One of the other changes that we've made this year has been to our backsplash. So what we've done with this backsplash, instead of using the old uh, paper wallpaper border that we did that went just across the back here is, we actually took pieces of true wall board. So there's nothing there that's glue and it goes the full length. Um, and we'll do a full walk around video on something like the 27 rear kitchen, uh, where you can see it's all the way across that rear kitchen back there. It's really impressive, looks good. You don't have to worry about it peeling and cracking and bubbling, kind of like some of the issues we have down here in the South. Uh, so I always make sure that I point that out as well. And then another thing too, is I talk about our, our storage space and our cabinets. What we do is we actually mount these cabinets as low as code will allow us to go. And what that does is it allows us to put us a shelf in here, effectively doubling our amount of storage compared to our competitors. So I just open it up, show it to them, let them see how much, how many boxes of macaroni and cheese they can fit in there, things of that sort. Little things like knife storage slots back here. You can fit your knives right in there. Something that's out of the way, it's not gonna eat up drawer space. And speaking of drawer space, you always have a bank of drawers right here in the L-shaped kitchen. And also notice that they're all plywood built, so they're heavy duty, but this is where you're gonna find your remote controls for the showstopper, the power options outside, your awning outside, or your awning light, I'm sorry, outside, all gonna be in here. So when they show up, this is where they arrive. So if you are looking for that to demo, that's where they are, unless you guys pull them out of the packets when they get there. Those are kind of the, the big features on the inside. Obviously we do pretty much everything for, uh, for the South in my territory with 15,000 BTU air conditioners. Um, we do have the option to do 50 amp service and we also now have the option to do uh, second AC as far as from us. So those are things that we can do. Uh, and if, again, if you have any questions, comments, put them in the comment section of the video, shoot me an email, call me, whatever I can do to help. Uh, looking forward to seeing you guys.